Well, if you can hear us, we thank God for Bobby you out there. Probably wondering why I'm standing in front of today. Amen. Thank God for all our viewers out there that's uh, joining us for Bible study tonight. Amen. And uh, you can see the title up there. Is, uh, uh, we got this little, I know we deal with repentance, but just bear with me the reason why I'm doing this. And, you know, as men led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. And uh, as many of you, amen, has been watching this broadcast throughout the years, you know, we are not playing church. Jesus is exactly who he say he is and always was, amen. So you're dealing with straight talk tonight. I'm your host, Dr. T.J. Straight. Amen, praise God. And we're going to be in our Bible study lessons, amen, real deep tonight because a lot of things happen, amen, in the world that need to be addressed. So we're going to just let God have his way uh, tonight in our Bible study. So uh, many of you that's been in my class for a while, amen, you, you've been here for a period of time, and y'all know that y'all see this, uh, you have this, you have your Bible study folder, the green folder I give everybody in the class, and um, all the churches to which you attend, in whatever state you're in, whatever church uh, you are attending, you know, whether it's in uh, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Ohio, Texas, or Georgia, wherever you're at, you know, you get one of these green folders that we sent out there to you, and then we give you inside those folders different type of sheets. Um, like sheets like this right here, you see that? That's called Count the Number of the Beast. And that's what we're going to be dealing with tonight, because it's upon us. That's the reason why as many led by the Spirit as the sons of God. And then also some of you, you got in your folders, you got the uh, satanic uh, symbols. No, you didn't. Amen. You got, you got the satanic symbols. See them symbols right there? All these are satanic symbols, and you're seeing them right now. And a lot of you have been walking around with uh, that one on your backside, a lot of them, amen. What, what one, Dr. Straight, this one right here? You've been walking with that one right there a lot of times. Uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a pretty bad cross there. And also, too, again, the d different doctrines of the different Bibles that they have. So, anyway, all this, this is this is good teaching tonight, and I know you're going to enjoy uh, what we're going to be dealing with tonight. And some of you first-time viewers, amen. Some of you first-time viewers, excuse me for getting out the shot. But uh, that's how it is. And I want you to get your Bibles out tonight. Let, let me pray with you first of all. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for all the viewers and all of them in class with me tonight, that, I, that you anoint me, that I'll be a great teacher tonight and teach your people what they need to hear for this evil day and time. For you said, I will hear your mouth and warn the people uh, from you. And I'm warning them tonight, to God, what things are that's shortly to come and pass. And the things that are upon us right now, that I may be a good minister of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will touch every heart and soul and every mind that they will receive the engraft word with meekness as able to say this so. Some feel they have heard it before, but they never understand the deep nectar of it because they was babes. They only drunk the milk of it. But now, oh God, I pray they have heart to receive the meat tonight. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the devil is going to have a, 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 a son on this planet. Judas was a son a perdition. Jesus said that in the 17th chapter of the book of St. Matthews, not St. Matthew, St. John. And it's going to be uh, in this day and time, it's going to be a man, uh, a man's going to come on the scene, but he's going to use a system. And that's the reason why I want to take your attention. And you, If you got your, uh, the, uh, your paper that I sent out there to you, uh, pull that out your folders. I told you don't come to class uh, without your uh, Bible folders. Amen. I went through a lot of trouble to, to make these things up. It took some fasting and praying, and I had to give up the the, fle the feasting and, pain and playing to get this stuff out here to you. And now I caught you with your drawers down. As Paul said, I caught you in guile. You all be shame yourself. If you come to church, you make sure you got your folders with you, regardless. Because God watching them. God once told me to give it to you. And so I want you to have this because you're going to be able to teach others also. We're in the last of the last days, y'all. A lot of people that take this stuff for granted, they woke up one day and the world had changed. They're going to wake up tomorrow. 
And there ain't going to be no word, are they? They're going to be suffering. Do you understand what's happening right now? Do you really understand this? Well, let me break it down to you. And uh, the scriptures tonight, amen, where you want to uh, find this at. We got, you got Bible study. Your tree, Dr. T. Street. The scripture, we in the book of Revelation 13, chapter 11 through 18. That's the scriptures for tonight that we're going to be uh, dealing with. And I thank God for you that's uh, watching us by YouTube television and listening to us by radio. Uh, but and all you out there, now look, you can order. Uh, you can ask. Uh, it's free of charge. I'll send you out this 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 uh this sheet right here, how to count the number of the beasts. And, and you're going to know after all this, it's not a coincidence. All right? So it's dealing, it's, it's, the mark of the beast is definitely dealing with a system. It's dealing with a system. But what is that system? And what's the name of it? It's going to be a system. It's going to have a name on it. It's going to be a beast. And it's going to have a system on it. And the system is going to be dealing with computers. And uh, after the computers, because y'all see this coronavirus thing that's happening, they're using this way to make every last one of you be infected, uh, injected and infected by it. I was wondering why the NFL, the sports arenas, and uh, I was wondering why all this stuff that was happening, amen, start happening. I said, Lord, what is this? And then I realized what it was. Did you know now the, the uh, state New York, Yankee Stadium in New York, in New York City, and the uh, down there in Florida, the, what is the, uh, Mercedes-Benz, all the, the big, big football arenas, all of them, even down in Texas, ATM, L AT and T. I'm sorry, all them down there is now. They, that's where they're going to inoculate people there because they can run a lot of people. They can social distance, and now people can be getting them shots. And in case y'all didn't know, on your job you're gonna to have to get a shot, a coronavirus shot on your job. Just work for a secular rim, and they mandating this thing now. And they going and you got, but you got to pay for it. And you say, how am I going to pay for a doctor straight? You're going to pay for it. They're going to take it out your checks on your insurance. Your insurance is going to pay for it. But they're going to take it out your check, $125, out of your check for the shot, and going to go into the insurance. Oh, man. See, this is serious stuff here. Going on to what I'm saying, in Revelation, the uh, 13th chapter of Revelation, and verse, uh, let's look at verse 11. Y'all got your Bibles? Y'all going to read with me? We're going to read all the way to the 18th verse. All right? 11 to the 18th verse. And it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he speck as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwelt therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh find that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast. And God had a blessing to the reading of his word tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now, you don't read the whole entire scripture. From 11 to, uh, from 11 chapter to, uh, excuse me, 11 chapter, 13 chapter 11, uh, 11 verse to the 18th verse, 11 chapter. I want y'all to look at something, if you can see that. You see that thing right there? Right there, that is called 
Abba Akou. You, you see it? That little them thing with all them lines on them, it's a barcode. And them guns can read them. And uh, every last one of them, it's a barcode on there. Now we enter to a place, what they stick on your forehead, a little gun, and they raise it on there and see if you got a fever or a temperature is up or not. That's how they do you. They have a little laser gun that can scan anything. Now, here it is. The Bible says that there's going to be some type of system set up, and it's going to be dealing with these things that y'all need to write this down. Number one, AI, artificial intelligence. In China over there, they have bellhops, boys that are little robots now, that, that uh, take you to your room, take your luggage, take you upstairs to your room, ask you if anything, everything satisfies in China. And uh, then they have the robots to give you a wake-up call over there in China. Not making this stuff up. Look it up for yourself. Okay, artificial intelligence. Could you imagine back in John's time seeing something like this? Could you imagine John seeing something taking place like that in his day? Well, John would have been in stat. John would be saying, look at this. But this is what it was. Every day, amen, praise God, you're going to be seeing knowledge increasing. Things are going to be changing as soon as you get some software. There's going to be another software you got to have. But John seen these things, and it was like uh, planes don't, they don't have no airplanes back then and there. So all he could do is describe what he saw. That's why he said, as hair of women. No, the helicopters, propellers. Those uh, helicopters, those black, uh, those what they are, Apache helicopters and stuff, and they got the, the they got them pictures painted on front like lion teeth, and you got a man sitting up inside of the window, manning this thing, driving it. And now they got all this stuff here now, and then John described, they had the face of men, they had the teeth of lions, they had, uh, they had stings in their tails, you know, the Apache helicopter can shoot backwards and shoot forward with the little missiles. The trajectory would go out and blow up things. And they can shoot chemical water, hit you with some type of uh, neural gas agent. They can do this. So John saw all this happening. Now, I want you to look at something. Look at your paper there and look over there where you see, amen, to count the number of the beasts. Where does it say count the number of the beasts right there at? I want you to notice the number two right there. It says computer. Now, computer comes out to be 666. New York City comes out to be 666. You see that? New York and computer come out to be 66. Why New York is always, in, we hear about every day, they're in trouble. Because New York City or New York is where most everything uh, happening at. Because that's where the United Nations is at. The headquarters of the UN is right there in the United States of America in New York City. Not in Brussels or Belgium, but right there. They got all the nations of the world there at the UN, right there in New York City. And now, for all the nations to come together at one, they come right there to, to New York. Now, this is strange that New York number is uh, 666, and the word computer is 666. What do they store all your information at? Everything about you. It's not in a computer. It's not everything y'all doing right now, working businesses, is not in a computer. Yes. They send all your information to some type of host called a, a computer. And so that, that's why they're taking all everything, social media, all of them is being put into one nutshell it's going to be a universal thing. That They had a problem with this thing called TikTok, Chinese owned and operated. Donald Trump was messing with uh, something. I guess he was peeing in a Kool-Aid or something. But something was going on because he stopped China because China was ripping us off. They couldn't have none of that. So in order to, to, to uh, appease China, they start undermining the president of the United States. By going here, amen, taking out secret trade deals and all that with China, selling them information. I really started with a Bill Clinton called China Gate. 
Go back, look up China Gate, deal with uh, what's that was uh, uh Terry Lee or Ty Lee. They blamed him for selling information. Right after Bill Clinton, what was it, 86, I believe it was? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, 96. When he got back in office a second time, he had a party in the White House. All these Chinese and everybody was coming in, staying in the White House, free of charge, and they so-called, that Bill Clinton supposed to have sold some nuclear code, not nuclear code, I'm sorry, some uh, missile codes to China. About a couple of weeks later, China went there, put a missile guidance system on their warheads of their missiles, and, it's, and, it, and it all of a sudden aimed it towards America. They had it aimed towards Russia. They aimed towards America. And then they find, later on they start sending satellites out in, in space because they weren't able to do it. They didn't have the technology. Somebody sold it. The guy's name was uh, uh, Larry Tree. That was his name. And they got over there and said he the one that did it. But the Chinese done it. Then so Bill Clinton wanted to get back at him. He put me over there in, in uh, Chesnia and Bosnia. And they when they was had their little scrimmage shooting them bombs and stuff over there at that time. One of the bombs went airy. It went, it went astray, so they say. Accidentally hit the Chinese embassy. <laughs> you call that a mistake? No, it's a strategic war. Now, all this stuff was culminating up to right now to where we had 2021. Now, I'm getting ready to show you how to count these numbers. Every barcode that I just showed you, every last one of these barcodes on this thing here, Every last one of them. What do I do with my pen? Every last one of them things right there. One, two, three. Every last one of them. That's six right there at the beginning of it. That's six in the middle, and that's six at the end. All of them, it starts off, every last one of them to get access that computer starts off with the numeral six. It starts off with six. Since man's number, and if we go back to Revelation and look at, amen, praise God, look at verse uh, 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding, not the wisdom of this world, y'all, wisdom come from God, count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, the number of a man, and his number is 66, six, uh, I'm sorry, it's 603 scores and six. Now, count the number of the beasts. Who made the computer? Huh? Who made this thing right here? Who made that? Man made that, see? Man was created on the sixth day. And man being six day, his number became six. That, that's what his number is. And that's how the Jewish people count. With those numbers like that. Now check out something else. Let me show you something now. To all y'all that got y'all uh, paper. Now it starts off. You see that? Count all the alphabets using the number six. Okay? This is called the numerical code. Numerical code. I don't think y'all that study algebra know that what M equal Y and C and all this. Number two and all. All this stuff is dealing with what you call to the power and it's dealing with numbers. Alphabets and numbers are worth something. You know what I'm saying? Numbers mean something. Why is 150 and Z is 156, I believe. Let me make sure of that. Yeah. Z Z. If you can see that, I set the fold right there. Z is 150. You see it? That's 156. That's Z. All right. Now, it starts with Z. It starts with 6. And where you find the 6 at? Here. 6 starts at A. A starts Right there, see, 6. K is 666. Six, six. You see that? I wonder why is that. 
But anyway, the six means amen, the number of a man in six. Same way with a barcode, access that computer. Now, in these certain names that you can find here right now, these names dealing with 666, if you start, you start counting New York, you're going to count those numbers in. E would be 30, and W would be 138. See what I'm saying? And Y would be 150, and 0 would be 90. And then you'll have R, which would be 108, and you'll have K, which is 66. And you're going to come up with 666 when you count that in New York. That's exactly what you're going to come up with. Now, as you count this stuff here, and enough, some people say, oh, it's a, 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 look, out of all these words that you can go and you can count this, just using a simple mathematical code, as any mathematician, numbers don't lie. Now, you take a man, his number is six, he make a computer off his brain and access it with six to get in there, beginning, middle, and end, and he create this thing. Now, all your information today is being put inside of a computer. Now, you start counting with this here now. Then you come here with the uh, system that's set up. Well, we're going back here now and look at the, uh, amen, praise God, receiving a mark. And said, and he calls them, now listen, this is good and clear. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in. Now, the other translation got it wrong. It said in their right hand or on their forehead or in, in their forehead. It's got to be inside you. Because it controls your body temperature and everything. So now, why is they going through the stream now and getting everybody vaccinated? And uh, Joe Biden is saying right now, and which he said, uh, it's, it's not that bad. He said it's going to get worse before it get better. Because he knows the moment he take office, trouble is going to bust this country wide open. He know it. So he got to try to appease the people. Something coming behind these checks now, y'all. You don't get nothing free from Joe Biden. Them. You don't get nothing free from the government. You know, it's your money. He took your tax dollars over there, a billion of it, tried to bribe over there in Chesnia, uh, no, Crimea, I'm sorry. He goes over there and uh, did something that was uh, definitely a, a, an impeachable offense against this country. Totally treason. Now, here it is now that they slightly bring it in this system to where they injecting stuff inside of folk. Now, you know, look, you, if, if you can't buy or sell now unless you become, amen, part of the system. That is the system. It's a communist system. Here, the Vatican Roman Catholic Church is already on board with this thing. They're going to, because they already say that we are what you call bastard children because Protestants, that is, because we're not up under the, the word Catholic means universal. And we are not up, on they, up under their, amen, uh, leadership. And so you got this already. Everybody just say, okay, now we're just going to establish one religion and everybody just do this because ain't going to be no, be no free thinking no more. And if you know the Constitution, the first uh, uh, amendment, the first article in the Constitution tells us that Congress shall not make any law, any law, amen, that infringe upon the freedom of speech and the press. They can't make no law on that. You can't change it. It's, it's, it's irrevocable. You can't change this. But they don't, they doing it. When they start silencing you and censoring you, in other words, they don't put a muzzle on your mouth. Now, when they start putting a muzzle on your mouth, well, you can't speak out against the establishment and you cannot Go buy and sell. Say you want to go get some vegetables and want to sit out there and sell them. But you can't do it without the mark. You cannot do this thing behind. So start counting right now, people. 
Look where you're headed. So that's why I had to bring this out tonight about counting the number of the beast because a lot of folks, don't, they, they, they think we're just uh, popping off. But right now, in, in, in reality, it's, in, 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 shall I say, in, in fast time, right now, uh, shall I say real time, that's the word. Amen, walk around with masks on. Amen. And then Joe Biden said, that's a mandate law. And then they got to stop anybody that says anything against the establishment. We're in some serious times. But no, 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 no. But see, you're ahead of the class. Now, if you notice all these things, what did the world give us? They gave you Santa Claus. So all this stuff right here is going to be working. Are y'all hearing this? All of it. Witchcraft, which when you see that at right there, witchcraft is going to be operating. These are spirits, demons, witchcraft. It's going to be operating and working. That spirit of witchcraft is going to be prevalent in the land. Not only is the, is the, is witchcraft is going to be out there through spells and sorcery, because once they put inject this stuff inside of you, whether God only knows what it is, it causes you to react a certain way. But what happened if in, in the injections, when they inject you, they got a little thing about the size of a period at the end of a sentence. And now they can monitor you anywhere. When was the last time y'all looked at your television and your television was watching you? Come up on your screen. Are you still there? Y'all haven't seen that on y'all t- y'all smart TVs? Are you th- still there? Anytime you can put a watch on your arm, it can tell you how your temperature is and how fast your heart beating. Anytime you can do something like that, you tell me what that is. Huh? So they got all these smart gadgets. They got all these smart gadgets and got all this stuff right here now. And got people so alarmed, got people so afraid, got people so scared that they don't know what to say or what to do anymore. We are in the last of the last days, and time won't be long. So let's go a little further right here now. Now, since we know that in the last days there are going to be four major uh, sins in operation, and we can find this right here. We're going to come back here to Revelation and the 11th chapter. Amen. But I want to read something to you at the ninth chapter of Revelation. Uh, the ninth chapter of Revelation in verse uh, 21. Listen. You get a chance to read the ninth chapter. The Bible said, well, I'm going I'm, I'm to read this real quick to you. So bear with me right fast, please. Uh, Bear with me real quick. I'm going to read the ninth chapter, the entire ninth chapter of Revelation. I know that's not up on your screen, but that's all right. We're going to read that anyway. Solomon's pit. And he opened the pit, the bottomless pit, and there arose smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air was darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and upon them was given power as the scorpions of the earth has power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the green grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which had not the seal of God in, in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shape of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And on their heads were as it were crowns like gold. And their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of a woman. And their teeth was as the teeth of a lion. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron. And the, sound, and the sound of their wings was the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. And there was sit, say, their stings in their tail was sting in their tail. And their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in his Greek tongue his name is Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there cometh two woes more after. 
And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard the voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which hath the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river of Euphrates. And the four angels was loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to say the third part of man. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousands, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in a vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplate of fire, and of Jason, and of brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. By these three was the third part of man came out, for the power is in their mouth, and in their tail, for their tails were like unto serpents, and their heads as with them too, and they do hurt. The rest of the men which were not killed of the bodies plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk, neither repented they of their murderers, of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Now, notice, they was being punished to make them repent. But they wouldn't repent. And they was being whipped good. All this biological warfare is what it is going on, chemical warfare going on. The torment of this, in a spiritual sense, they look like locusts. And like they was stinging people, which locusts don't even sting, no way. And here now, they're tormenting the men. They, and it was put on them to repent. They would not repent of all of the th sins that they was doing, worshiping material and golden idols. Oh, it was cars, houses, and land, money, jobs, in our time. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's doing in our time now. It's worshiping material things. We are in the last of the last days, all right? Now, notice that uh, if you ever watch any, uh, what they call it, History Channel, how they, they have a story about aircrafts and about silos where they got the missiles in the ground and how they got them planes and stuff to be sitting on top of those uh, aircraft carriers, how they just come up. They don't sit up there. They be down inside of some type of bay on this giant aircraft uh, carrier about the size of a city. And... They, they all of a sudden the doors come open and them little planes come up out of there. Are y'all hearing this? They come up out of there. Then same way with these silos, missiles come out of there. They got them right down on the ground right now. Then they got these drones now, unmanned uh, drones. Now you know they and they got thousands of them things now. And them things can go around about 180 miles to 200 miles an hour. And so they got these drones now. They can sit right there uh, in China and, and invade uh, uh, America with, the, with them drones. Them things are fast. And think about them now. And some of them got them propellers on them. You imagine you got about 10,000 drones in the air. And they all black. And they can shoot missiles. Now, don't, don't look, I know it sounds comical when I say this, but don't take Tony Stark's. Iron Man, they invented all them cluster bombs that y'all see and watch on them cartoons, not cartoons, them got bombs like that for real. They got them things that, that, that they throw out there and they just take off and be flying like thousands and thousands of little ants in the sky. Yes, sir. They got them. That's why I say you just should watch history, history channels and stuff like that and you'll see that all this stuff is out there. And that's why, Lord have mercy, you don't need nobody like Joe Biden fooling around, fooling around with uh, that stuff. There, he, it's like it's, it's like me sometimes trying to fool around one of them games some kids got. I mean, I tore your game up. I've been a messed it up. I've been poor courts, losing everything else. I've been a blowed up the TV, fooling around them things. I don't know what I'm doing coming out of them little games. The children sit there and say, "That's how you do it, Granddaddy. You do it like this, Daddy." Uh, no, Daddy don't want to fool this because I've been blowed up some. Well, you. You sit up here and watch Joe Biden say, let, let me touch this button. What, what this button here for? And he and he touch it before you can answer the question. He said, what's this? Click. What's this? Click. Now, he don't know 
Now, that's different for me. Now, I know about mechanics and stuff like that. But I ain't walk up inside somebody's garage, amen, praise God, or somebody's laboratory and start shaking little uh, test tubes and say, what this stuff is? What did, what you do with this? And shaking it around me and blow us up. I'm talking about a mad scientist. Well, that's what you're getting. They don't understand about the art of war. And so all this stuff that's getting ready to take place is already in making people. Oh, Jesus. Around about four, five days, about, well, five days, six days. I'll just say six days. Whatever the uh, 20th is, you better get prepared. Because all hell going to break loose. I mean, it ain't nothing going to be smooth no more. It's, it's so get prepared to arm yourself. That's the reason why I'm saying look for numbers and everything else. Because everybody going to get one. Everybody going to have to get one. Now, I ain't telling you you going to get it. But see, you're going to become an enemy of the state, unless you comp unless you, amen, uh, compromise. Let's go back to the 13th chapter of Revelation again. 13th chapter of Revelation and verse, uh, let's look at uh, verse 14. And he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. You hear that? Now, we know this dealing with a nation. Ain't no such thing, no seven-headed man. Because there was a dragon that came up and he had seven heads. That's the first uh, verse of the uh, 13th chapter of Revelation. Coming up out of the sea. And remember, it's a different. This one come up out of the sea and a false prophet comes up out the earth. Big difference. But this man comes up, but he's got seven, so he's got to be over a seven headed nation. And one of them things is going to be healed. In other words, this nation that once was, that's why the Bible said, which once was and which uh, is the eighth of the seven. You can find that in the book of Revelation. We'll talk about that uh, later on. But this one, it already was. It could be wrong. But it's going to, whatever, America's not going to be no more as y'all knew it. No, ain't no way. See, the man is going out the window, out the door now. They're trying to get out of there. Donald Trump, which I believe he got something up his sleeve. I believe he's going to do something. But they got to get him up out of there quickly. They, and they want to kill anyone. I mean, destroy you, reputation, everything else. That if you had anything to do with Republican Party. Now, you're going to be hearing about it and seeing about it, but I've been warning you because I've been talking about it. The Bible goes on, verse 15. And the Bible says, He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that he that the image of the beast should both, two things, speak and cause as men would not worship the image now, should be killed. Revelation, ninth chapter just read that they worship their silver and their gold and woods and things of that nature and would not repent of, their, of, of none of those things. Now, this guy going to put somebody to death. You hear this? He's going to have people killed. Now, did you think they'll go that far? Yeah. You know why? Because the earth is already overpopulated. They'll kill a few millions of them. They ain't going to miss nobody. They ain't going to miss a few. They're starting out with who? Well, we, we know that the children is one we got to more or less take care of more, but the uh, middle age and the older, bye-bye now. Kill them. That's what they're going to try to do. Wipe them out. And I'm telling you, you check in the hospital, you don't check out of it. The Bible says, and he calls all, now listen, all, both small and great, rich and poor. See? When it say small and great, it's still talking about those in authority. In other words, y'all uh, heard this, the, this, this the way they uh, analyze us analyze us, they say that you got the upper class. See, you got the middle class and you got the lower class. That's right, three. You got the upper class, middle class, and lower class. That's how it works now. Now, you know, free those that's entrepreneurs, you know, the E-N-T-R-E-P-R-E, N-E-O-U-R, the entrepreneurs, it calls them. Those free ones. And those, amen, that's, other words, like slaves that work, poor people. He calls them to receive a mark. 
in their right hand or in their forehead. So people are going to gladly take this thing here because they ain't going to have to worry about no food. But you that's been a free person yourself, a free thinker, they taking that away from you. A person that made their own business with their own two hands, labored hard, sweat hard, and got it. You want to receive this because you ain't going to sell in, 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 in this society. You ain't going to sell in this society. And why? Because you're going to have to some type of way do this. You're going to have to do this right here. You're going to have to check in with this right there. Say computer. You're going to have to check in with that computer there. You're going to have to. Otherwise, like filing taxes. I mean, you ain't giving nothing, you ain't getting nothing. And then you better not get out there talking about selling something. So we ain't going to have none of that. That Bible going to say. The purpose of all this, that no man should buy or sell. Now listen to this. Notice how what they did to y'all people. Uh, essential, non-essential. See? In other words, what they're really saying, you don't matter. You don't matter. Essential and non-essential. See? You're important, but you don't count. See what I'm saying? You got this and you got that. Come on, follow me. But you pitiful. Get out of my face. Like that, what the Bible's saying you did, telling you exactly what you're seeing right now. Notice what you're seeing right now. They got the hookers uh, clubs open up. They got the clubs open up and everything else. And they got it. Well, I ain't going to say that. Well, they got everything out there for uh, nasty stuff. And then here it is. They shutting the church. This young fellow over there in Morningstar, Alabama. Uh, I guess they're mad at him now. He gets over there, and half the people come running over there. Everybody that would run over there, end up, some of them get, end up getting uh, COVID-19. And uh, they were wondering why this lady died. This lady had been over there going to that place over there where he had morning star and, and end up, uh, they because anybody can go in there. They don't care what you're doing. He got up in there, and she died of coronavirus. So he ain't telling everybody all that stuff there. And so the... You know, most everybody over there was quarantined. Half the people, if there was any people there, half the people was covert. They had to quarantine them. Now, I'm not making this up. Look it up yourself. I ain't going by what somebody just sit there and said, but see, this is what I'm saying. They, they, they got that coronavirus over there. And see, if you come in contact with anybody that got the virus, or, or what they say tested positive, you got to go quarantine yourself for 14 days. I remember those ain't wearing the mask, it's the criminals. Those that's wearing the mask, they fine. <laughs> See, you ain't got a mask on. You got to have them all, oh man, they sticking them masks up everywhere now. And then people that say, well, let me go start selling masks now. now that's, the, that's a new normal with them. So you can't go without a mask hardly nowhere. I know the world funked up. It stinks so bad. I know it. But there was a time when you put a mask on your face and go up in a store, man, they'll pull a pistol on you. A bus a cap and you ask question later. I said they'll bust a cap and you ask question later. Well, I didn't know. I thought you was Jesse James or somebody coming up in here with that mask on his face. Now, either you're gonna get it. Now this is no joke now. And then you'll come in contact with folks, and you know you got to come in contact with people just about every single day. But now you can't say unless you read you got to register this, you got to register that. Everything's registered, and guess where it goes to? Everything that you got to register it goes right here. Right there. Computer. <laughs> You're going right inside that base. They got you on record. They got you on record, honey. See, now they got everything set up. Now, see, that's what they was doing while everybody being locked down. They was putting uh, up... Uh, Traffic lights with uh, phone, uh, not phones inside of them, but uh, cameras in them. When we coming from Cleveland, Ohio up there, and they made the wrong turn, getting ready to go towards that turnpike, they caught them on camera. Got got the picture of the car and everything. See, they had that stuff down south, not in Mississippi and Alabama, nowhere. They had it in California and up there. But see, y'all hadn't been nowhere. You hadn't been up there, and they got them. And they got everything up. I remember one brother sit there uh, always doing things. He, he knew I knew he was up to his dirt. And so finally, it just caught up with him. He wouldn't tell me that. He'll get tickets. He'll go to jail. He'll have problems. He had to go to court. And so 
Uh, he wouldn't tell me nothing about it, but I had to come to him and tell him about it because he tried his best to hide things from me because I told him, to, uh, keep on. Keep on trying to do things outside of the church. You're, you're out from under the blood. If God gave it to me to tell you do this and do that, then you need to follow the apostles' doctrine. If they had fast, I'm doing it right now. I'm staying steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Well, he kept on and finally got himself in some serious trouble. Well, I'm going to stick with Jesus. I'm going to hold on to that, that hem and that garment. <laughs> I'm going to hold to that unchanging hand. Yes, sir. The Bible said, and that no man might buy or sell. Now, think about it. You got, oh, I got this plan. I got this plan. I got an idea. All right. Well, the devil got one, too. And I'm revealing it to you. Save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, think about women and men, people that backslid for their children. Their children didn't want to be there, and then they backslide with them. All because they want their children to have this and have that. Now, you think about it now. Get a Section 8. Get on welfare. Don't you know they own you? Don't you know now, if you can't stand and see your baby sit there and run and snot and tear because they hungry, they, they, they belly swole up because they have got no food inside of it, don't you look at that? Don't that tell you something? Who going to sit there and look at their baby sit there crying snot and tears all out of their eyes? They starving half to death, and they ain't got no way to feed their child. Well, if they ain't going to accept that, they're going to run right out there to where? And go out there and say, look, we're going to get down here and get this money. We're going to get down here. We got to get on the system, y'all. That's where it was back then. I remember my father said that he, he ain't going out to no relief place and get no food stamp. And my kids will tell you today, oh, no, we, 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 we ain't going to get this. Uh-uh. I got two hands. I'm going to labor. I got a set of knees, caps. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to bend them. The old song said, talk about me as much as you please. The more you talk, I'm going to bend my knees. And that's what I did. So I'm trusting God if he's if he faithful enough to keep me all these years and tell us, amen, praise God, that we do not have to receive this mark. We don't because anybody that receives it is going to have problems. Now, if God taking care of us right now, he's going to take care of us until the day he calls us home. The Bible said that they can't buy and sell. Now, you already can look at people today, can't you? And so I know she's going to get the mark. I know he's going to get the mark. I know they're going to get that mark. Don't you? Don't, 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 don't lie. Let's tell the truth. You know it. Because they can't take no pressure. They can't take nothing. They've been trusting the, the world all this time. And still, okay, you can stock up some food, but what happened when that food run out? What happened when somebody found out you got food? Man, then people got them cattle all across the roads and everywhere. Thousands of cattle. Remember, God said the cattle upon thousand hills is his anyway. Now, all them cattle out there, man, they're going to they be walking across the road with a, a, a ham on their shoulder. <laughs> a hog on, that cow still going to be alive, laying over there, amen, with, one, with, with three legs because they ain't got that ham. I remember one time some years ago back here, uh, this, guy, uh, this boy ran to a, a cow on that road, got out, and he ran across there and hit it. And this guy, they called his name Rat. He went and got a power saw, and everybody heard a power saw up there. He was up there in the middle of that road cutting him a big old ham off the back of that cow. Uh, he, went, he said, ain't no sister let it go to waste. Let us fall. But they ain't going to come in your yard and take your food. I mean, just, I mean, you think they're doing things crazy now. It's still a little green, but when it get dry, Jesus said if they do it when it's green, think what they are doing to dry. 23rd chapter St. Luke. So we're in a day and time now. And it's getting worse to where they're going to come and going to start just taking stuff. And then now if they don't take it, the government going to come and take this. It's against the law for you to have this. Uh, have you registered yet? Have you registered yet? So it is no game, y'all. And you see it right now. People are going to lose their jobs. Because if you are not vaccinated and taking this shot, you, 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 you're you going to lose your job. I mean, you're just going to lose your job. And some of you say, well, I'm just going to take the shot, you know, so I'll keep my job and everything else. Well, you got to see what's, what's happening. I know a lot of folks right now. I mean, I'm talking to Brother Daryl. He said, no, 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 no. I, I, I just ain't going to take this. You're going to have to just come get me. <laughs> You're going to have to just come get me. I say, 
I said, well, you know they're coming. He said, yeah, I know that brother straight. I know they're coming. He said, I'll be waiting too. <laughs> I said, you, you can't, you can't, you know, you know, you can't go shooting them. You ain't got no, you ain't got no, no rockets that blow them rascals up with. He said, well, I'll try. So you better stop that and leave them folks alone. Y'all already got mad at you. And I, and then here it is. I seen on Sports Center today how the man said something on Sports Center and, and, and he was doing, you know, how they, they had you on the split screens. It froze up. And I said, uh huh. Notice you start having problems. They scramble your signals. They was telling me today, said they was going through there, and all of a sudden, I just my broadcast just started getting crazy. And I know why, because I was talking about certain things. I was talking about certain things. And every time you start talking about certain things that they don't want you to talk about, that's when they're going to try to, amen, come against you. Because they don't want you talking this. So, so people, it, it's... Uh, it 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 didn't got it's, it didn't got crazy. We know it. It it didn't got a little it didn't got a little beyond crazy now, because folks right now, Amen. Praise God. Got to the uh, point where they don't they don't really believe anything no more. Excuse me for talking. Uh, they are doing these things, Amen. Praise God on purpose, y'all. I said on purpose. And they're gonna see how many people gonna take uh, gonna, gonna deal with this. Because that's what the lockdown was all about. They was instituting and putting in their plans. The satellites, the, the, the smart uh, television, smartphones, and they know people got to live and make money. But they can't make money if they got everybody locked down. So now they're talking about raising the minimum wage to $15. So, uh, so somebody flipping hamburgers at Wendy's, will be making more money than a, than a plumber. And that's the reason why they're doing that is so they can take all that them taxes. Now, remember now, take them taxes to feed the government, and they're going to control you because you ain't going to be able to buy and sell, even work at Wendy's, if you don't get these shots. And that's what it is. And people want to live. They want to make it. That's what they're trying to do. They're going to have everybody. Remember the Bible said, that the people will be going mad in the last days. And they will be. I know people right now, they're not gonna make it, folks. They 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 are they are they are suffering real hard. They don't know, they don't know what time it is, don't know what day it is, and they are really suffering because of the things that's happening. And I played this yesterday, but I'll play again for your sake tonight. Because this is what the enemy is trying to do. And I'm getting ready to close here. But I know you'll learn something. And I know God have definitely blessed you. And God have touched you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I know you're, you're being touched by the power of God because you're learning something. You have learned something tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you would touch every heart and every soul, every mind and every body. And I pray that these people of faith been increased tonight because they got a heads up. They know what's happening. They know what's about to happen. They know what's going to happen. But you promised us, Lord God, not a hair of our head would be harmed, nor shall it be singed. When we pass through the flood and the fire, we shall not be drowned or burnt. You promised us that. We thank you for it now, Lord. So remember us tonight, oh God. As we listen, hastily we listen to God. And we thank you for, amen, pray, amen. We thank you, and we honor you in Jesus' holy name. Thank you for it, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. People, God has touched you, and God has blessed you. And uh, listen to this song. I'm more wiser now than I was before I came in. The devil's defeated, God's exalted, and Jesus is Lord. Give him praise in the house of God. Amen, amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You're going to be tremendously touched. Listen to this. when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow and then the days got worse and worse and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. And... 
They're coming to take me away, ha ha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, ha ha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats. And they're coming to take me away. It was a joke, and so you laughed. You laughed when I had said that losing you would make me flip my lid. Right? You know you laughed. I heard you laugh. You laughed, you laughed and laughed, and then you left. But now you know I'm utterly mad. And they're coming to take me away, ha ha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, ha ha. To the happy home with trees and flowers and chirping birds and basket weavers who sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes, and they're coming to take me away, ha ha. I cooked your food. I cleaned your house. And This is how you pay me back for all my kind, unselfish, loving deeds. Ha! Huh? Well, you just wait. They'll find you yet, and when they do, they'll put you in the ASPCA. You mangy mutt! And they're coming to take me away. Ha ha! They're coming to take me away. Ho ho! Hee hee! Ha ha! To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time, and I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats and their. 